Dozens of Russian and Ukrainian soldiers were reportedly killed as Moscow launched a military operation, which Kyiv described as a full-scale invasion. But Russia denied that it is trying to occupy Ukraine, which declared martial law and cut diplomatic ties with its nuclear-armed neighbor. Sarah Wang reports. After weeks of speculation, Europe is on the brink of possibly the worst conflict since the Second World War. Ukrainians woke up to the sound of shelling and explosions. Their foreign minister called it a full-scale invasion by neighboring Russia. Absolutely. President Vladimir Putin ordered a special military operation in eastern Ukraine, prompting an evacuation of the Lukans area, held by pro-Moscow rebels. The Russian leader said he was only heeding calls for help from separatists in the Donbass region and accused Ukrainian government troops of stirring up trouble. Putin denied that he wants to occupy his neighbor, but urged Ukrainian soldiers to surrender. He also warned of an immediate response if the West retaliates against this move. Russian troops and vehicles were seen entering Ukraine from Belarus and from the annexed Crimean Peninsula in the south. The Kremlin denied targeting Ukrainian cities or civilians, only military infrastructure with high-precision weapons. There was panic in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, as air sirens blared. Explosions were heard in cities outside Donbass, which Russia now recognizes as independent. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky declared martial law and urges compatriots to stay home. But his plea fell on deaf ears as traffic jams clogged the capital, where some people saw shelter in metro stations. Kyiv implored the international community to to send military equipment and humanitarian aid. Meanwhile, claims by Ukrainian forces of shooting down several Russian aircraft in Lukans were denied by Moscow, which said it had degraded Ukraine's air defenses. Amid a worsening situation, Ukraine closed its airspace to civilian flights, while airports in southern Russia restricted operations. The Chinese embassy in Kyiv told its nationals to stay indoors and put Chinese flags on their cars for safety. Sarah Wong, HKIBC.